Give me the chocolate! Alright everybody, welcome back to Sanic Heroes. In the last episode, we took care of the Metropolis level, and we met up with Amy Rose. She wanted to marry us, but we weren't giving her that pleasure. So we did what any loving person would do in order to say no to his counterpart that has a big thing for him but doesn't really want anything with him. We just basically beat her, beat it into her and let her know that we ain't down with that. That ain't us. But in today's episode, we're going to head off into the big casino level. These levels probably might be a little bit longer, so let's see if we can knock them out in one episode. If not, we'll have to break this off into two. So let's get started. Let's blast through with Sonic Speed. Okay. All right. Sanic speed. I don't know what kind of speed that is, but I kind of want to try it. Casino Park. Dash through the giant theme park. Boy, Amy sure doesn't give up that easy. What is this place? Sure is bright here. We got some time. What was your first Amy, call there, we Knuckles? We only have 24 hours left. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we got 24 hours left this before everything dead. goes to crap. Okay, casino. let's go to the casino. All right. <laughs> It's nice to it's nice to know where Sonic's priorities land. It's like, huh, 24 hours left until the world ends. Let's go into the casino. So yeah, one of the things about uh, one of the things about these levels is they're very very repetitive and annoying. First off, these are these are some of the most annoying levels in this game. But hopefully, hey, there they are. I have enough. I have enough knowledge and old school in me to remember how to beat these levels. I'm not promising anything, but I'm gonna give it my shot. I'm gonna give it my best shot for you guys. I really <laughs> don't screw this up. Mainly just because I want to see if I can knock all these this, these levels out in one episode. Because these casino levels are long. But then again, we also have the the mansion, like the Halloween mansion levels, that are equally as long. Because I don't know if you know this, but uh, some of these levels, if you if you don't really know the way around and everything like that, some of them take over 10 minutes to beat, and that is a lot of time for a Sonic level. And I don't really understand who. Whose general idea it was, I'm assuming it was Yuji Naka's, because he created Sanic and everything. Uh, but I don't know what his, like, infatuation was with uh, pinball machines and Sonic the Hedgehog, but he's like, it seemed like every game after he released Sonic's pinball, he's just like, I want to put a pinball-style minigame or a level in every Sonic game that I make for this. I never understood that. I mean, I'll, I'll admit Sonic's pinball was fun. But for some reason, it just kept happening in every Sonic game. Like, there was no escaping it. But, you know, it was his creative direction, and who am I to judge that? I'm just a dude who plays the games. I didn't make them, so I don't know the real story behind them. But hey, the most important thing is that these games were fun, and that's really all that matters, right? I think I'm gonna need, I'm think I'm gonna need Tails for this. Depending on the matching symbol. And you are just a chatterbox, Tails. You, as soon as I start building up some commentary here, that's when you start the chat. Start the chatting in the yammer. Right, that's where I need to go. Okay. See, the problem is with the pinball machines, they, they control like garbage. They are, they are just awful, awful to control. But the most important thing is to just hopefully figure your way through and you can nail it, it. if you're lucky. God, punch it, Knuckles. Stop bouncing. Oh, he's got he's got a gold shell on him. I gotta flip him. That's what we need Sanic for. So now that I'm playing this game and we're actually I think we're almost done with uh the Sonic Team story. Um, Got it. Which, what game would you guys like to see next? Like old school or, or not? Like, I'm always curious to see. Like, is there another old school game that you guys have always been wanting to not see, bad. but you never really got a chance to check out? Or is it just like, hey, let me have my creative freedom and let me play just any random level that comes to uh, comes to fruition? I guess you could say. I'm always curious. Because one of the things I like to do, I like to plan ahead when it comes to uh, making videos. 
and I always want I'm always trying to think of new possible uh, videos or games to play mainly just ones that I feel like will be a lot of fun to play and also be a lot of fun to watch like in a video okay this is a different perspective all right uh -huh. Where the heck is Sonic and Tails? <laughs> okay, easy, easy. Leave it to me. Okay, Tails is over here. Go. 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 I'm assuming this is the way out. Because <laughs> that's the thing about these pinball levels. You'll you'll like tread off and like your other characters will go different routes and you won't even know. So you basically just kind of have to like just automatically switch and see where they landed. And most of the time it works out and they end up ending uh, ending themselves at where the final parts of the level is. So it kind of works out, but sometimes they end up falling all the way to the beginning of the level and you're just like, dang it, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> and it just becomes this one big thing and it's just kind of annoying. All right, I didn't get any re- Stop! I don't want the slot machine. Too f ah, slots. I, and again, I'm sorry if that came out weird. I said slots, not sl. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that other word. <laughs> you know. I try to. I try to keep the. Try to keep the commentary clean here. Try to keep the commentary clean. Ugh. So I can't switch the knuckles or tails because they're officially gone. So. <laughs> God, it controls like butt. That's the problem. <laughs> Sonic, just no. Sonic, Sonic. I think that's another reason why people hate these casino levels so much in this game, because when you're in the actual pinball portion of this level, it's so hard to control. Okay, okay, don't don't do that. Don't do that. This is gonna this is gonna get annoying before it gets better. Work with me, game! There we go. Eh. There we go. Uh. Okay. Woo. You see what I mean though? It's just like I am I'm trying really hard for this to, for the control to work up to that point. Again, I guess that's where that's where some of like the some of the hate towards this game comes from. Because I'll be honest, I seriously thought I was gonna die there. I'm like, no! <laughs> I was literally watching him like, this is how I die. This is how it ends. No! Grab that. How do I grab that switch? Let's go. Game. Oh, I literally have Let's to press go. the B button. Okay. Game. Game. The, no, tails. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Now I remember why some people hate these games. <laughs> the controls are kind of butt. The controls are kind of butt. I'm not. I'm not gonna deny that. I still. I still genuinely love this game. I'm not gonna lie. I do love this game, but these controls. I'm telling you, sometimes they they get they're they're pretty booty. Sometimes they're pretty booty. There it is. All right. Sweet. We made it. Not too shabby. But since these levels are a little long, I think I'm going to call it for this episode right here. And in the next one, we're going to go ahead and start up the next level. So I hope you guys will join me in the next one. As always, this has been Sanic Heroes. I have been Benchez. I love all your faces. Yes, and I got to see it. for... Got to go to the craps table. See you next time. See you later.